Hi friends, I'm so glad that you stopped by again for Storytime Moments with Mimi. Today, we have a special story. It's how to accept no. It's hard when someone says we can't have something that we want or we can't do something that we want to do. And sometimes we have to do things that we just don't want to. Well, let's see what happens. When mom and Josh were shopping at the grocery store, Josh got fed up. He didn't want to be there anymore. As mom stood in the long checkout line so she could pay, Josh complained that shopping was ruining his day. I'm sorry to hear that, but we can't leave just yet. Josh didn't like mom's response and got quite upset. I want to go home now. I don't like this place. Josh clenched his fist into balls and got red in the face. Mom kindly bent down, smiled at Josh and stroked his head. It's hard to wait when we don't want to, she said. Sometimes waiting makes me feel impatient too. When I feel angry, Josh, do you know what I do? I get rid of those feelings by stomping on the floor. I imagine I'm a T-Rex, a big dinosaur. So Josh tried stomping like the big beast might do. When he felt better, he went back to mom in the queue. Josh told mom her idea worked. He no longer felt mad, but he was tired and wanted to go home. He was now feeling sad. You need a hug, mom said, and she squeezed him tight. That made Josh feel better, and he giggled with delight. Later, dad took Josh to the community center to play. Josh knew just which toy he wanted to play with that day. At the play center, the big blue truck is his favorite toy, but this time it was in the hands of another little boy. It's mine, yelled Josh as he grabbed onto the truck tight. No, I'm playing with it. The boy yanked back with all his might. And angry Josh did a dinosaur stomp right back to his dad. Dad could see right away that Josh was very mad. I see a big angry ball inside you, Josh, his dad said. That's too much anger to hold on to. It makes you hot and red. Let's throw away some of those balls together as a team. They threw balls and giggled and Josh let off some angry steam. The whole family walked to the park at the end of the day. And when it was time to go home, Josh wanted to stay. Mom said, no, we've had lots of fun and now it's getting dark. Choose one last thing to play on before we leave the park. Unsatisfied, Josh was still grumpy as they drove away. Seeing this, Emma said, I know a great game we can play. We'll make our mouths grumpy and then turn our frowns upside down with the kind of ex exaggerated smile you'd see on a clown. Emma frowned then smiled and their parents did the same. Josh giggled as he watched everyone play the game. Smiling, he said, I've had bad feelings a few times today, but they never stay long. You all help me make them go away. The end. That was a fabulous story about different things that we can do when we were feeling impatient, angry, or upset. Thanks for stopping by. I can't wait to see you again when we read another story.